Okay, to make the dreidel, I'm basically going to adopt the layout as such. So we're going to have square sides and triangular base to produce this thing. And I'm going to make it out of wood, approximately 18 inches tall. Okay, I basically cut five pieces of wood, only four shown here, uh, that are going to be the sides. And uh, what I did was I cut uh, three sides at a, at a 45 degree angle. You can see the blade. And what it's going to happen is these, when I assemble these, you can see the, uh, the sides here. When I assemble them, they're going to match up as so. And then the base will go on the flat side of, of this board. So I've got three sides at 45 degrees, and the base I'm going to have to cut at a special angle. Actually, I'm going to cut the uh, triangular, or the pyramid that goes on the bottom of this at, a, uh, at an angle. Okay, I cut the uh, triangular pieces for the base. This will make up the base of the dreidel. Not a bad fit. Even the grains match. Then he locked the roll fit together neatly. Okay, I took scraps of uh, wood and I'm going to make cleats. And basically, what a cleat is going to do is going to go inside of the of the box. And when I go to uh, sorry, when I go to line up a side, I'll be able to secure each side or glue it, screw it into this cleat for extra strength. So it's just there for extra support. So I'm going to secure all the cleats in place and uh, there should be four of them. And then uh, it will help me uh, form the top of the box. Okay, on two of the sides, I glued and screwed four cleats and they'll act as a backstop for the pieces that will come together like so. Hopefully we can see this. And I'll be able to use the cleat to strengthen the piece together. So that will help me form the box. Okay, I just did a just a dry fit, just leaning everything together just to see how it's gonna come out. And it seems like the box needs a little bit of work and I have to cut an angle at the bottom of that of the pyramid that goes on top so I can get rid of that gap because the angle of the wood is creating a gap. So I just have to do a little bit of geometry and figure out what the angle is I need to cut it at. To figure out the angle I'm going to take one of these thingies and we'll basically take a take it just past 90 and calculate what this this angle is. It appears to be about 120 so the cut I'm going to have to make is roughly a 30 degree cut uh, to make the uh, pyramid flush with the with the box. I made a 30 degree cut along the bottom here. The 30 degrees was just right. It took care of the gap. So next stage would be to uh, start assembling it uh, with glue and screws. Uh, countersinking the screws so I can cover them up so when we paint this it looks okay. So next stage is to assemble it. Okay, uh, I tacked it together and glued it. Uh, Phillips said screws, I'm sorry. And uh, I'm going to tack it together with a uh, the finishing nail, a nail gun. And then I'm going to back out these uh, several of these screws. The nail gun will hide a lot of the, uh, the fastening. Next step, take a belt sander and round out the edges and kind of make it look a little bit more like one piece. And then uh, on the lathe, we'll uh, turn a handle. In its rough form, it's starting to take some shape here. Okay, I'll put the box aside for now. I found the center of the uh, top. Now I'm going to put it on the lathe 
Uh, once the center point is found, you put it on the, um, on the two spindles. We'll spin it and we'll make this square piece round and it will be the uh, top of the, the dreidel. Okay, it's laying on its side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start belt sanding down the corners. I started here with the light sandpaper. I'm going to go a little more coarse and start uh, taking the edges off the corners of the box. You can see the box right there. And I'll be using this belt sander to take down the corners. And took the belt sander to it. It took uh, many of the edges off quite a bit. Rounded it out. It's starting to look like one piece. You can see that uh, there are no more corners connecting the uh, box with the triangle or the pyramid as I call it. Started rounding out the edges. I'm going to take some filler and make sure that some of these cracks are filled and the holes from the uh, screws are filled and then it's ready to be primed. Um, what I need to do next is figure out how it's going to rotate or how it's going to stand up. Okay, I rounded off the uh, top and uh, secured the the top of the dreidel and now it's ready to be uh, primed all right i filled some of the holes most of the holes and uh sandpapered it down a little bit and then primed it this is the first coat of rough priming i left the top on and it's only being held by two screws one there and then the opposite corner uh, because I need to get inside of it to build a mount the metal pivot that's probably going to come off the point. I'm going to probably have to drill out the point and put some kind of pivot. Okay, the next step is I printed out uh, the Hebrew letters and I'm going to cut them out. I'm going to outline them and then cut them out of this uh, 1 8 inch masonite on the scroll saw. So the letters are cut out of the sheets of paper, glued down at the boards and they're ready to be cut. These have been, all been cut out using the scroll saw. So now I'll uh, take the uh, paper off and uh, we'll paint these black and we'll get them ready for uh, nailing on to the uh, dreidel. Final coats on and uh, the letters will probably sit something like that. So that should look okay. Now what I have to do is I have to open it back up, open the top up, take this uh, rod to cut this rod. Unfortunately, the rod's just a little too big to fit into the motor. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to grind down the rod just to make it fit. I'm also going to drill a hole in the point and have the rod stick out of it. And then I'm gonna have to set this rod into a block of wood so it doesn't turn. So I have to situate a block of wood inside the dreidel. With a little filing, I've taken down the, uh, the square to make it a little smaller so it would fit in the motor and uh, it fits. Snug fit, so that works. Now I have to uh, work on securing it within the dreidel. I cut it to about half its size, a little less. Okay, I've removed the top came off with the two screws I set up and I drilled a hole at the uh, bottom and now I'm going to set up a block in there to hold the uh, this post uh, in place from spinning. This is the block that will hold the spike in place or the pivot in place so I cut it at 30 degree angle and it's going to fit exactly into place there at the bottom I think uh, well, there, there you go uh, I'm gonna cut a hole in it and what I find the center is I'll make an X to identify the center point and then I'll I'll put a uh, I'll drill a hole and then I'll put some blocks on the back of it to block the spike from turning okay I'm gonna use the old drill press to uh, drill the hole dead center
the stop lock is coming along fine. I'm just gluing it up. And then I'm going to put this uh, brass bracket on to just make sure it holds tight. Over here, I've taken the motor apart and I just squeezed a whole bunch of silicone in there to uh, waterproof the wires a little better. I'm going to take this rubber gasket. I'm going to cut. Uh, I'm going to cut it so it doesn't allow water to run down the spike. Over here, I've taken an old table, and um, I drilled a hole in the center, and I'm setting the motor mounts. So I drilled right through the table, so the screws can hold the motor snug against the bottom of the table. Okay, it's done. I squared out the hole. I put the spike through it. I put a uh, brass bracket to hold it tight, and uh, now I'm going to. Uh, slip it into the box, uh, the dreidel, and uh, secure it. I'm going to have to, unfortunately, I'm going to have to put some outside nails and try to cover those up. Okay, I fastened it with one screw just to hold it in place. I'm going to put this rubber gasket on. I cut it from a gasket material to prevent the uh, water from dripping into the motor. And we'll see how it stands up. Black the back of letters just to make sure they're sealed from the environment. And when those things dry, I'll tack them on the dreidel and uh, we'll be ready to go. It's uh, a little wobbly. I'm going to make a, uh, a little better base for it. But the letters are nailed on and uh, I'm going to trim it up with some blue paint to make it look a little nicer. And uh, we'll take it from there. I gotta uh, get it over to the town today. So hopefully it works. Hopefully I can get this done in a couple hours. It's starting to come along there. Uh, however, the base is a little wobbly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I did two concentric holes. I'm gonna square off, square off these holes in order to hold the point of the dreidel better. The f almost finished product to do something a little better about the stand but uh, hopefully it'll work out pretty good.